Hello, hello everyone and welcome to this special video. As you might have might have understood that this is a video kinda a new thing on my channel. Well, because I am not really into making one. <laughs> but anyway, as you see, I'm in a bow tie with a really good costume. Uh overall looking I think fairly decent. <laughs> In this beautiful landscape of Submarctica below zero. What does this all mean? You might ask me. And this is the first ever created pickup. Unbelievable. I mean, we did insane job so far. And why not to make pickup? As you might understand, this is December, uh, literally last month of the this year, so yeah, without further stuff to say, let's just finally dive into the Rika. Firstly, I must say that, of course, why am I showing my face? Well, I usually don't on my streams, but of course, it was done a long, long time ago. Fairly long, long time ago, what the fuck? Uh, and that was during the Pottergon. A really nice event that is. By the time I'm recording this, it will happen eventually. I don't know when, I don't know how will it happen, but it will eventually happen, trust me, all this. Of course, there's some... Uh, there's some parts from the Portagon that you'll be able to see. Some of my... Uh, ex ex me experienced uh, doing some shenanigans. With some Nautica below zero glitched, uh, not my favorite item to be honest. And of course some Amnesia series, uh, I didn't miss Amnesia to be honest. It's a marathon game, I love it so much, but uh, speedrunning it, I'd rather not do that, for now at least, <laughs> but by the time I'm making the recording. And of course the Potterton, a really awesome event. I really loved it, that, that was my first time in Potterton after a long time and oh my lord, it was so mind-blowing. I really love everyone who was involved with that and actually I'm really happy to say that I'm actually a little bit tiny, be tiny, but involved with this project and that and how, I mean, you might ask me and it's actually a really kind of awesome way because I was hosting this event and I'm still in the hosting team for future Potterthons and of course future Pottergons because uh, it might actually become a fairly consistent event like Potterthon itself and I'm really really so happy to be a part of this even as a host but still that is so awesome Thanks Miney for keeping me up. Firstly, thanks Miney for uh, accepting me to this event. And of course, a giant thanks for actually keeping me up as a host. I thought I did not the best job, but maybe I actually did a fairly good job. So, uh, now, getting rid of these Potathons, Potagons, we are actually gonna talk about a really awesome news from myself. The reason why I'm doing all of the shenanigans with like, you know, new stuff or new ways of streaming, including first time doing some uh, face cam stuff, I'm trying to improve my quality of streams. Uh, sadly, my consistency is still uh, as shit as possible, but I'll fix this. In the next year. <laughs> I hope so, at least. Anyway, uh, the thing I wanted to say is that we finally did what I was thinking would be impossible for a long, long time. Tell me a few years ago when I was starting speedrunning that I will eventually uh, get 100 followers achievement. I would probably not believe you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm recording this online mostly without any script, so 
Don't mind me, I'm just doing some random shenanigans. But I mean, I think it's better than just reading the script like a robot. Anyway, as I was saying, we did a freaking impressive uh, follower uh, goal of 100 followers. Not long time ago, that was half a year ago. I was like, yeah, it would be awesome to get like 50 followers. Then Nixa helped me smash that goal really hard. I became uh, the bitch. Uh, keep forgetting. Affiliate. There we go. Keep forgetting the actual name of it. Anyway. And then I like, yeah, okay. For that, we'll, we did some uh, Skillet Festa. Again, a little bit about Skillet Festa later. But then I said this like four months ago, three uh, after Skill Festa already be done, that I will be back with it. And I said that I'll do Skill Festa in one go if we hit 100 follower. Uh, well, indeed. Again, Huge shoutouts to many people, including Nixa. I think Flo helped a lot. Uh, Sonia. Everyone. Oh my lord. I never imagined this would have happened. And I did. When I did that, that was a stream of Hogwarts Legacy and I like. That was really cool. <laughs> so, I don't know what is Skillet Festa. It's just a small event where I do all my speedruns that I did for past three years. Well, this is gonna be the third year of Skill of Fest and Skill of Fest of 2024. But overall, Skill of Fest is like me doing all speedruns I've did in past, I've done in past. And we are back at it. This time in one go, oh lord, that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be a really strong adventure, but I'm willing to do it. So, stick around, uh, the date will, will probably change. I think so. I'm planning on April 4 when my speedrun anniversary is gonna happen, the year anniversary. But we'll see, probably sadly not. But anyway, as you might have understand, this is the part from Skills Festa playing in the background, so I hope you like it. And yeah. We'll be back probably 24 hour stream or more when where I'll be doing all possible runs I've done in the all quite select. All HP games and ice mode are disappeared. Uh all amnesia outlast every game I've ever ran. This is gonna be a really fun experience. At least I hope so for you. Anyway, without further stuff to say, let's just dive into the third chair. I'm sorry. Chapter of this uh recap. As you see, time has passed quite a lot. Uh, my new outfit, my new haircut. Probably it's actually the same, but I actually had a haircut. It's like it's been nearly a month since I recorded the first part of this. Recap, sorry. I'm fly so much. I thought I'm taking a small break and then everything goes on. So, as a third chapter, I basically want to talk about 2023 as a year. Uh, speaking of life, just a little bit about life. It was hard. It was hell of a kind. Everywhere, like. I'm in university and I have to grind and grind and grind stuff. Oh my god. It's not even that fun to grind all these things. But we'll see how will it go later on. I hope the next year. Because of this grind, I was basically really off streaming. It wasn't really the best year of stream. I think overall. It was a good streaming year. It's actually better statistically. An amount of streams were way, way, way more than it was back in 2022. But still, 
I think it could have been just a little bit. But I hope next year 2024 will be a great one to stream. Now, outside of this RL stuff and streaming, let's chat about just one more thing. Achievements this year. I've already discussed uh, previously about uh, the legendary Skillet Festa that's gonna be happening. But why is it happening? Why? Well, that's because, first of all, 2023 gave us, gave me basically, which companion. I was so shocked. And it actually finally made me go into streaming. Like, I actually started wanting to stream on high quality level. That includes I started making stickers, emotes, I started working on my quality of streaming a lot, like actually hella bright. What else we did? Many things, I, I hope I started 2023 really greatly. No, skill first happened because we got 100 follower goal. I remember it was... I told it to Nyx firstly uh, that if I get 100, oh, 100 follower goal, I will start skilled faster as a full grind, not as streams tiny tiny like this stream for this part of skilled faster, this for this and this for this. No, I said forwardly said I will do skilled faster in one go uh, at whatever cost at one stream, basically. If I have to go sleep, I'll go sleep and etc. etc. But still, this has to be the one starts one stream from this point to this. It's all skilled fest, all games. I must do it and I will do it if I reach 100 uh, followers. Call. And guess what? We freaking did it. It wasn't even two weeks when I officially announced this goal I was like eh, games yeah, 60 followers like 40 followers it's like it's meh I think until 2024 is fine well that was really the best uh, 40 followers gathering I've ever had in my whole life <laughs> so yeah that my mind exploded when we got it. So, back to talking. Uh, the yearly recap. Uh, the goal recap. Basically, we broke many action records for 2023. I think uh, we didn't get only three, actually. It's Harry Potter 3 PB. It's... Uh, what is this? <laughs> it's also the Outlast sub uh, 59. I wanted to get it. Yeah, sadly. And some noisy creative. It's really bad, I must say, that out of like really hard stuff, including uh, uh, it's kind of medium stuff. Only uh, creative glitched is actually a really hard one since it's creative and it's glitched. Like, really short category. Also, I didn't do one speedrun I wanted to do. It's actually the easy one, so... We kinda like... We didn't do a hard, medium and easy one, to be completely honest. But we did a lot of stuff, like... This year I actually got all third places in uh, Subnautica below zero any percent. So it includes glitched and glitchless in survival. I got my first Harry Potter 2 speedrun. I got a lot of uh, legacy speedrun uh, achievements. I also got the Chungus run. Chungus speedrun. Survival any percent. Legacy run rock sub by thirds. Actually right now it's sub for 30. But <laughs> we don't speak about it. This list was made way before I was even like that good for honor this game <laughs> so that's all achievements and it's time to reveal uh, the list of new achievements 
2024. So, and there it is. Here, 2024 calls. So, first of all, Subnautica Below Zero glitched sub 30. I don't really know how to do this. Uh, I I don't really know. I mean, how to how difficult it's gonna be. It feels like fairly medium challenge, but it just feels strange. <laughs> Harry Potter 3 is sub 55 PB. I think if I grind a lot Harry Potter 3, it's gonna be fairly decently medium difficulty thingy to do, but still. Outlast no autobound sub 39 is still here as a challenge, so as I said, it's not gonna be on the Harry Potter. I know I would really like to do a lot of more Harry Potter stuff, but still, I need to spice up stuff just a little bit before anything else. And now, speaking of Harry Potter, Harry Potter 2 sub 45. Yeah, that's gonna be probably a good challenge. Subnautic survival any percent sub 1 hour. I think I already have some one hour, so I need to adjust it a little bit, so if so, I think I think actually no, I actually don't have sub one hour. It's one of one or something. Uh yeah, it's one of one, so sub one hour basically gonna be fairly decent challenge to do. Uh subnautica below zero creative glitch up to five. Yeah, that's gonna be hard gonna be hard actually. I have no commentary about that. Legacy Renner stuff for hours. I think it's gonna be decently hard but at the same time medium challenge. At least hope so. Gonna be fun grinding Legacy. Uh, speaking of other subnautical stuff, Below Zero glitchless sub 37 on despawn. Yeah, that's hard. That's actually a hell of a challenge. But at least I'm gonna be in cool game with sub 37. <laughs> HP1 first run. Yep, it's easy, but HP1 is instantly hard game to learn, so it's gonna be a challenge to do so. It will do it anyway. And speaking of HP, Harry Potter any person try fast. I really wanted to do this, so I am going to do it. That's why I'm learning HP1. And getting HP2 and HP3 uh, better PBs to, you know, just practice stuff. Speaking of Subnautica Below Zero again, we will be getting my world record and full loadout glitchless pack. Gonna be medium, but still probably fun to get. Amnesia the Dark Descent. I was thinking I'll never go back to this game, but I want to. I really want to, so we'll be getting sub. Or late 22, by late I mean like 22 10, 22 5, or 5, you know what I mean. It's like close to be 21, but not really 21. It's, oh no. Uh, I meant like sub, uh, yeah, late 22. It's near to sub 22, but not really no sub 22. <laughs> Legacy Hunderam. I already tried it twice, technically three times, and it all failed, but I hope this year, the year 2024, will give us a hand run. I really hope so. And of course, HP2 glitchless run. I hope I'll do it to sign to HP2 tournament that is going to be fairly soon, but we'll see. Might do, might not. And that's it for the new goals. As always, you can check out uh, the current goals and uh, uh, the current uh, goals progression, and of course, uh, uh, how in percentage it overall was done in the uh, in this year, like in 2023 or 2024. Of course, check out my Discord self promotion. Yep, well, yep. Uh, because there's gonna be already available channel called Yearly Go Recap, where you can view my achievements of the year. So that's it for this vlog. Now let's dive into the pre-final chapter. Last 
but not least, I would like to give a huge shout out to many community members of any game, any overall who was here with me. First one, of course, is Nixo. Nixo did a lot of things towards me, helped me out with a lot of basically uh, determination to do all this stuff. If not Nixo, I think this recap wouldn't be a thing. So thanks, Nixo. You helped me out with uh, getting that much followers, helping me out to start doing Harry Potter franchise and other stuff. Just if not you, that would be such. Of course, Sonia for being an awesome person. Uh, Miney, because he's cool portal, because he helped me a lot with HP2. Log for his streams and other fun activities, and also for his tutorials. If not him, I would probably not learn HP2 that fast. Uh, and we also have people like uh, Pax, and also Guy, also the legendary Pilkman. Then we have always have that feeling that I want to tell about someone. We have, of course, the Rene, but doing skillet. Rene is also a really awesome person. It was fun playing with him. Henrik. Henrik helped me a lot about uh, with my projects that I'm currently working on. But now it's just a secret. I hope in this year I'll reveal what I am working on. For many people it's already known, but it's a secret. It's a secret I won't tell for now. But Henrik, if not your soundtrack, that would be a hell of a sadness. Borderlands Lily, that I always spell like... I don't know how I spelled, but I always spell her... Their nickname wrong, her. Uh... What else? Also? From Subnautica community, of course it is. Uh, Tori, even though they are probably none of freaking Subnautic community members watching this. Uh, Kick W. <laughs> uh, Tori, HA for helping me out with other stuff. And there's also Solar for a lot of fun and such. Uh, Arcturus, who helped me out with uh, learning glitchless. And being a really fun competitor uh, when bingo was a thing. <laughs> what else we have? Uh, Robbie, they invited me to the bingo relay. It was fun thing. Of course, every member of bingo relay, everyone was awesome. Really fun to see uh, good players play Subnautica. <laughs> uh, from Amnesia community. My best friend, Ru. Ru, if you're for some freaking reason watching this video, first of all, why? Second of all, you're a really awesome person. Thanks again. Dodge slash Quasar, who's also a really great friend of mine. Uh, and just other overall people that were on my stream speaking, helping me out. You're all awesome people. I really love you. Uh, not really love, but you got me. I mean by all of that. <laughs> so, finally, this is the end of our 2023 recap. Wasn't the greatest video, come on, it's my first recap. Not really that much stuff I can tell. It was fun. Really, I've, I started speedrunning Legacy when it came out this year. I think it finally uh, gave me the understanding of what games I love to speedrun. Uh, thirdly, final words is that I've met a lot of cool people. Dark, Cake, uh, Sony again, who else? Uh, Mincy, a lot of people. It's hard to name it from like, from the from the being without like remembering everything because there are so many people uh, and I'm like introvert 
it's not really good at remembering stuff. I remember everyone from chat, but never when it goes to speaking, I can like uh, think about everyone at the same time. Sorry, I still love you all equally. So thanks again. So, final words to say. 2023 was something of a violence, I would say. A lot of hard and painful stuff, but at the same time there were a lot of uh, great achievements, really fun times with people, and so on so on. And I would say I would really love to see 2024 like that. But even spicier, more head stuff, more uh, other things, and of course better achievements, greater uh, goals and such. As well, everything should be balanced. Not all good, not always all bad. Something in the middle, I would say. Anyway, I'd like to wish everyone Happy New Year as well. As the video com will come out, it's probably a day or two uh, before the New Year, so... As always, thanks everyone for being here. Really appreciate you guys. Happy New Year again and see you in the year 2020. Bye.